A four-point line in the NBA? Are you kidding me? Well, no. This drastic change could be coming into the NBA sooner than we think. The rumors have been there for a long time, and all of this discussion started in 2016 when an NBA committee presented the idea that a four-point line could have a huge impact on the league. But as expected, this bold idea was discarded. The reason was pretty straight. This was way too big of a change, and the league wasn't prepared for it. But over the years, Commissioner Adam Silver has been somewhat open to the idea and the pace at which the game is evolving, you never know what might happen next. The NBA is a little skeptical, but other leagues like the Big Three, which features ex-NBA stars and international players, have already implemented the idea where they have made four-point bubbles 30 feet from the rim. And every time a player scolds from the bubble, it's a four-pointer. Damn! And just like the Big Three League, the WNBA has welcomed this change, incorporating the four-point spots in their all-star games since the last two seasons. Jeez. Surprisingly, this change has entered the NBA too. Many NBA teams, including the Bucks, Hawks, 76 years, and Rockets, have already added the four-point lines in their practice facilities, training players to the highest level. We can also deny the fact that new changes are never easy to accept. Going back to the year 1979, a new shot was introduced in the NBA, and as expected, it wasn't welcomed by the fans at all. A gimmick? A publicity stunt? That's what the fans thought of the three-point shot. They were stunned by the idea that a shot would award three points of successful. Because you know, NBA back then was all about the two-pointers and one-point free throws. Damn. But the fans aside, even the NBA itself wasn't too sure either. They had put this shot on a one-year trial to see how things turned up. And for the first years, the adaptation was slow too. Till 1984, NBA teams were only averaging 2.4 three-point attempts per game. Jeez. But then, Larry Bird changed the narrative, and after him, it was Jordan. Eventually, the three-point shot became an integral part of the game. In fact, it turned into a tool that was used to win big games. Although not very popular back in the early days, today, 40 years down the lane, here we are in a league where NBA offense is all about scoring big threes. Players like Steph Curry and Damian Lillard can win games single-handedly? All credits to the three-pointers. If we think it this way, as of now, we can't even imagine NBA without three-pointers. I mean, it would be too slow and boring, right? <laughs> you guys do remember the game where Damian Lillard knocked out the Thunders with a 36-foot three-pointer? Goosebumps. Well, this would be a frequent occurring on the introduction of four-pointers. So folks, as crazy and bizarre as the idea of a four-pointer seems, in today's date, this discussion makes more sense than ever because the NBA is ready for some very major changes and this could be one of them. I mean, if they can introduce an airless basketball, a four-point shot won't do much harm anyways. And after some years, it will be a very important part of the league with players mastering it and changing the entire scenario. And the fact that they've added into their NBA All-Star Celebrity game give us hope that this idea is a lot. Back when the three-point shot was introduced, Larry Bird was one of the early adapters and he eventually finished his career with 649 three-pointers. His take on the four-point shot is pretty optimistic. He said, every 10, 12, 15 years, there's something new coming in. You put that four-point in line there and people will start practicing. And once they start practicing, they get better at it. Maybe five or 10 years down the road, fours are what every Everybody will be shooting. The game evolves. At the same time, Mitchell Thompson, a two times NBA champion, also advocated in fear of four pointers. Everyone is falling in love with the three point shot. That's why I keep advocating for a four point shot arc, he added. Why not the four point arc on the floor? 30 feet, 33 feet out, and have guys with a range like Damian and Clay and Steph and Bradley Beal and David Booker and put a four point line out there. But maybe there is a conflict of interest. Michelle wants four pointers because his son Clay. Thompson is already taking shots from the four-point distance, isn't he? So this should be an added advantage for him. But enough of the details, let's dive into the pros and cons of the four-pointers and how it will impact the league in the years to come. First and foremost, adding a four-pointer would mean more business for the players and the league itself. It would make the games more exciting and fun to watch. Players like Curry and Lillard would enjoy it the most, and average game scores would be reaching 150-point mark. It would be a win-win situation for the players and the fans. At the same time, it would also create chances 
chances for closer matchups. Normally, when a team is 8 points ahead, with less than 1 minute to go, it's game over. But with the introduction of this new shot, it would bring in more opportunities. Currently, the 3 point shot is often used as a weapon for comebacks, as teams can quickly close the gap with a few well placed 3 pointers. With a 4 point line, the possibility of a comeback would be even greater, as a team could close a large deficit with just a few 4 point shots. Adding to this, the players would be incentivized to develop their long range shooting abilities, as these shots would now be worth more points. The NBA loves touting its player development, and the addition of a 4 point line could maximize the quality of play. The 4 point line would help to level the playing field between teams with different levels of talent. Teams that lack the star power of their opponents would have the chances to rack up points quickly by making 4 pointers, but at the same time, there would be some very significant negative effects too. The addition of a 4 point line would fundamentally change the nature of the game. Basketball is a sport that is built around teamwork, strategy, and individual skill. The addition of a 4 point line would disrupt this balance by encouraging players to take more risks and focus too much on attempting long range shots. More importantly, the 4 point shot would make the 3 point shots insignificant. Player would be more focused on the 4s than 3s and just like this, we could lose a very pivotal part of the basketball games. And don't even mention the air balls and absurd attempts by the players which would make the NBA hard to watch. And then if one team would have great shooters like the Warriors, the games would be one sided fairs. One team annihilating the other team winning by huge margins. So if we weigh the pros and cons of adding this new shot, it would not be a very great idea. Basketball would become more about shooting in long balls than the tactical and delicate play. And as for the NBA, the idea of a 4 point shot is indeed real, but it wouldn't be coming to the NBA. But there's hope cause Rob Thorne, NBA head of operations said, I'm genuinely intrigued at the notion and revealed that the 4 pointer has come up in league discussions. But at the same time, Commissioner Adam Silver has had something different to add. You know, I, I, there, there's been, we've mentioned it even in, in, in passing, it's maybe something fun to try and all star. And, and, and the, the reaction from the players has been incredibly negative. I never say never. There's hope. But as of now, we can only enjoy the NBA as it is. Ah, guys, don't get disappointed. Just hit the sub button and enjoy unlimited basketball content.